at this point for this unit, it's been about 15 years. Um, some other in, some others in the industry have gone as many as 20. So that's that's kind of the range that we're looking at with these designs. It's a unique piece of equipment in that there's only a couple of vendors in the United States that are capable of fabricating this equipment, and. Uh, one of our uh, subject matter experts here in the refinery knew CFI was an FCC uh, manufacturer and uh, that's how we got in touch with them. Well we've got a, a rich relationship uh, with Chevron, um, especially Chevron Pascagoula, but, but Chevron company wide. After several years of working our way up the ladder, we've now worked our way onto their approved uh, vendors list, approved uh, manufacturers list, um, especially for large equipment because there's uh, very few fabricators capable of handling these larger projects here in North America. One of the things that we're really trying to understand is uh, long-term reliability and really understanding life cycle costs and understanding the balance between how do we design it, how often are we willing to replace it, and really try to look for the long-term most reliable and cost-effective solution. So that's where CFI was a little bit unique in that they're located on the Pickwick uh, Lake in northeast Mississippi. Uh, the other vendor that's in the U.S. is located in Oklahoma on the Red River. CFI is a little bit advantage over them that they can fabricate this inside their shop, whereas the other vendors can't fabricate a piece of equipment this large inside. So we were able to execute all of this work in a controlled environment, which was very beneficial from a quality standpoint. The vessel itself is called a regenerator. It's a regenerator system and it has cyclones inside. This has 22 cyclones inside. And the cyclones themselves serve as separators to separate solids from gases. Behind us you're seeing a job that represents 75,000 man hours. 50,000 of those 75,000 was spent on the cyclones and the hangar system and the plenum that's inside and that was performed and executed in our Holly Springs facility. The outside envelope was built here in, in Iuka and then the components from Holly Springs was shipped to Iuka to be assembled, welded, inspected, and then installed inside the larger vessel that you see here. We take a lot of pride in what we do. Obviously to do something that, that of this magnitude, it takes a lot of hard work, it takes a lot of hours. Uh, most of the people in our group uh, are, are really proud of what we do and that's, what, that's where we get the biggest part of our motivation to stay in here and keep pushing through to get these projects done. It came down the Ten Tom Waterway, which is uh, exactly what it was designed for, right? For commerce and things like that. So it came around, came out Mobile Bay, uh, right up to our, our dock at Bike Sot, and uh, transported it over on Gold Hoppers and Shirley's uh, transport equipment, and uh, staged it right there at the control room where it'll be pre-assembled and then installed for the turnaround. Yeah, it feels good. It's great to be able to, you know, execute a project that this scale and use Mississippi resources. It just, it's a good thing that it worked together. It was pretty special. Uh, I've, uh, I've been doing this probably 25, 30 years and, and rarely do we get to spend this amount of money with a company that's in state. And uh, it was pretty neat. Uh, really exciting to do. With Chevron being in the state of Mississippi, you know, uh, very proud of that and what, what this company means for our state uh, and, and also uh, being able to, to showcase the talents of, uh, of this company, you know, right here in Mississippi, their, their technical uh, talent, their craftsmanship talent, right? Well, we take a lot of pride in that we're able to pull revenue from outside of the state. Uh, you see other projects around the shop that are all to be delivered outside of the state of Mississippi. But then we take a special pride that we were able to, to retain and uh, keep the jobs for this project here in Mississippi.